I think you've hit on a really big misconception when it comes to vulnerability, though. I think people think that it's weak to be vulnerable. Right. And of course, that's connected to having a lot of ego because if you have a big ego, oh my God, I have to seem strong and stoic. So I think the first thing is really pause and ask everybody to say, what do I think it means to me? Not the definition, but what does it mean to me to be vulnerable? Do I think it's an act of weakness? I remember when my book, uh, Fears on an Option, came out and it's semi-autobiographical and a close friend of mine, actually, she has a few kids and she's like, this first book I've read in a while, cover to cover. And she's like, you know, I cannot believe you were so vulnerable. And I was like, really? I was? <laughs> Maybe and I made she, a mistake. And no, not at all. No. I was just, for me, it wasn't being vulnerable anymore because I've been practicing it a really long time. It was just like me telling you something that I thought was kind of obvious to everybody because I'm so open about things generally that this, I don't think there's like a big reveal in the book. 